In general, I think the moral of the story is don't judge a book by the cover and uh, don't judge a bike by the logo on the down tube. What's up everyone, China Cycling here. Uh, a quick short video today just to introduce you to a new brand that I've been kind of playing around with the past few weeks, past few months and uh, yeah, they're doing some interesting things so I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, the brand is Big Rock. Like there's no getting away around it, like the elephant in the room is the name. The name is Big Rock. So yes, today let's get all the jokes out of the way. I will be telling you about how stiff and hard my big rock is. Uh, I've got a black big rock, I've got a white big rock. I'm in between a black and a white big rock. Let's get all of the jokes out of the way. But if we look past the name and start to look at the products, things get a bit interesting. So first of all, I need to rewind a bit. So Big Rock, this brand has been around in China for a few years now. Uh, and the prices are pretty low. Uh, they started off doing mountain bike frames and mountain bike stuff, and I kind of didn't really pay attention to them because of mountain bike stuff. Then I saw they started doing a road bike stuff, and because of the low price and the goofy name, like I kind of dismissed the road bike as like just a knockoff ethos. But then fast forward to a few months ago, uh, one of my colleagues here at uh, Pine Podium needed a bike to ride. Now she's slightly vertically challenged, like one meter 50 something. So I started looking for like what would be a good option. And there was just a lack of any good options. Uh, like even on a smaller size frame, there'd be such little seat posts sticking out that I imagine the ride would be horrible. And then they're probably never gonna ride a bike again if it's super horrible and uncomfortable. So. That got me thinking. And as I was looking through stuff, I noticed that this big rock frame isn't just a copy paste ethos. They actually lower the seat tube of the bike and lowering the seat tube of the bike means there's more seat posts sticking out. Now in the smaller sizes, especially this behind me, the XXS, it means that your frame does end up looking like a mountain bike frame. Again, maybe something to do with big rocks mountain bike past. Uh, but in terms of ride quality, this is gonna make the ride quality so much better. Uh, the frame's gonna be lighter, the frame triangle part is gonna be stiffer, and then you have a more compliant uh, ride with more seat posts sticking out. So it starts to make sense. As the sizes get bigger and bigger, it starts to look more normal. I'll put in some photos if I can remember. But anyway, so yeah, I put the order in uh, for this frame in a size XX small, didn't think much of it. I uh, gave it to my colleague Tom to build up, like ordered in the handlebar with it and the saddle. Uh, got my colleague Tom building it up with a L2 R9, like entry level hydraulic disc brake group set. Uh, put the Magene PES power meter on there, which is a great power meter. I'm gonna do some more on that in the future too. And so like me and Tom, we kind of share do is building up all the bikes that come into Panda Podium. Uh, and you know, we, we, we've, <laughs> we've seen it all, the whole spectrum of quality. And uh, as he was building it up, like, I noticed he was not running into many problems. Like usually if Tom runs into a problem in there, he'll tell me, we'll scratch our heads up about how to get over it, you know. Uh, but I just noticed like he was just getting on with it. I was like, huh. So I went in to check on him and uh, yeah, he was pretty impressed by the quality. Like, so he had the same stereotypes as me. Like he thought this brand was a pretty dumb brand. The name, a dumb name, etc., etc. But building it up, like the attention to detail on the frame and also the accessories included with the frame were really starting to get his attention. And so I was interested too, like I stayed in the room a bit longer as he's building up and stuff. And yeah, just like the quality of the components uh, just made the build so much easier. Like anyone who's built a bike will know, like this is where the difference between like, you know, your AliExpress frames and your big brand frames is. It comes when you're building it. Like how much do you have to barge? How much do you have to sand? How much do you have to trace velo stuff? Like. That is the difference in, in quality. And uh, yeah, the Big Rock stuff, like there was none of that. And uh, furthermore, I was impressed by the finish. So this one behind me, uh, it's basically raw carbon with just a clear coat on it. And you can see the layer of the carbon and it is some nice looking carbon. Uh, they don't try to hide over too much with some black paint like lots of brands do. And it's kind of like uh, on display warts and all, but like there are no warts to see. And uh, also the frame was pretty light too. I can't remember the exact weight of this frame, but I'll put it down below. But again, it's an extra, extra small frame, yada, yada, yada. I thought, meh, what of it? Anyway, when the frame was finished, uh, before handing it over to my colleague, I thought I'd go bed in the brakes and stuff. So I took it for a ride up a local climb here just behind Panda Podium HQ. And uh, on the first few pedal strokes, I was like, huh, this isn't bad. Like, obviously I'm riding it like an absolute clown bike because it's two sizes too small for me. Um, but I'm like, hmm, this ride's okay. And then when I got to the climb, going up the climb, uh, yeah, mine was blown. So I've got these uh, like entry level nine velo wheels on there, which are also super cool. But yeah, you know, there's nothing spectacular on this frame, but the whole build itself, uh, crazy light. Again, I'll put it in over the video. 
and yeah, I was just like, huh, this rides pretty well. And then so bombing down the hill, like riding the brakes, doing the bedding procedure and stuff, and like slaloming some of the corns, again, it handles well. Usually extra small frames, and especially extra, extra small frames handle atrociously. But this was tracking nice, turning in nicely, like, hmm, I was impressed. So yeah, uh, I've been riding this, uh, my colleagues have been riding this, my son has been riding this, and it's, yeah, it's taken it all, not put a foot wrong. And then so uh, fast forward a few months later, uh, another one of my colleagues wants to start getting into bikes, so I got this white frame to build up for them. So this is an extra, extra small, this is just the extra small. And I thought, okay, maybe the extra, extra small is a fluke, I'll get another one in, I'll have a look over it, blah, 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 blah. And again, like, uh, impressed. So again, this white paint job, a bit of a heavier paint job, but still impressed by the finish of the quality and the decals and stuff. I think it looks like a stunning bike. And again, the accessories that come with it. So on this one behind me, I built it up with an integrated bar and stem. On this one, I'm gonna use a traditional bar and stem. And then there are, there's like multiple different headset covers they give you. One for fully internal, uh, one for the cables going in underneath the stem. And they even have one for the cables going in either side of the stem in case you're running it with a slam stems with no spaces. So yeah, all this stuff I've been really impressed with. And so gonna get this one built up. But then before I've even had time to finish building this one up, Big Rock dropped this. This is what they call the Team Edition. And this is the super light one. Apparently it uses Mitsubishi carbon fiber, the equivalent of like T1100. And uh, yeah, it uses this light weight paint job, like there's a subtle blue. There's also a red one. And uh, so yeah, they dropped this and I thought, well, I'll get one in my size as well. So this is also an extra small. Okay, let's put this one on the scales of truth. So as you see it here with derailleur hangers and bottle cage bolts in and not much else, uh, 673 grams or 673.5 grams. So yeah, that's pretty light. Now, yeah, it is a small frame and extra small and it does have the dropped seat tube which makes it lighter still. Uh, but that's, you know, that's Athos S-Works territory we're getting onto. And again, that's with a T47 bottom bracket. I know from experience, I think T47 bottom brackets add about 30, 40 grams to a frame, so. Yeah. So like I say, as well as this frame, they also have integrated handlebars and they have a saddle. The saddle is also super cool. Uh, it's nice, nice shape, also nicely padded, but weight wise, we're also pretty impressive. 124.5 grams. So 124 grams for a fat, short nose padded saddle, I think is pretty damn impressive. But yeah, I was impressed enough with the quality that I brought two more now. So now I own three big rocks. Uh, and like I say, I let my son ride it. So I have lots of faith in it. And so yeah, impressed enough to put them up on Panda Podium. So the standard edition, which this white one here and this black one behind me both are, that's up on the website now. And also the team edition is also up on the website. And I'm gonna finish building these as quickly as I can. And then I'll do like a dedicated review on the frame itself. But like I say, after riding the XXS, I'm super excited to get these two built up. Uh, I think this white one looks stunning and I think the, the blue one should be super lightweight. Uh, I have a special group set to go on it as well, so uh, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna do another video on that group set maybe next week. Uh, but yeah, so it's all kicking off here. We've got the Taipei Bike Show coming up soon too. So yeah, I just thought I'd do this quick video just to show you what's been on my mind lately and uh, yeah, this big rock stuff. And, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below because then when I do the dedicated video on the frames, I'll put the answers to those questions in there too. But yeah, any questions, let me know and uh, let me know what you think. Would you ride a bike with big rock on it? Like, I think this is what's gonna come down to, right? Like, no matter how good it is, no matter how cheap it is, would you ride it if it says big rock on the down tube? Uh, for me, uh, I don't care but I totally understand that it would put some people off. Anyway, usual stuff, give the video a thumbs up. If by the off chance you're not subscribed, you know what to do, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. China Cycling, out.